Hey, what is going on YouTubers? Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today coming with the unboxing and the hands-on of a phone that I think is absolutely ridiculous when it comes to the quality and all the great things that it carries. And this one came from Elephone. It is called the U-Pro. And I am super impressed, guys, with the quality, how much they have changed and just how much technology they have added into this particular device where you can actually compare it now with something like the Galaxy S8 or any other flagship device out there. This thing is definitely competing well, but now I think that they went a little bit overboard on the price. Uh, right now, this thing can cost you from $379 all the way up to $400. I think it's $59, so that's kind of expensive considering that this is still considered a mid-range device. So anyways, getting a look here at the box, the first thing I noticed is that it doesn't have any color markings, so I don't know if I got the black color version or the blue color version, but thankfully I already opened it, and this is the black color version, and here I have the blue color version, and this is the one that I've been testing for the past couple of days, and I'm very impressed, guys. Like I said, they have definitely improved the quality by a big margin. It is not what it used to be, so I'm really excited about this, and hopefully you guys are as well, and I will say that maybe we need to wait a little longer until the price drops to take advantage of this great phone. Now, here on the front side, we got the Elephone logo. Towards the back side, we have some of the quick specs. It comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 Octa-Core. It has the Adreno 512. It comes with six gigabytes of RAM, 120 gigabytes of internal memory. It has a uh, wide angle, eight megapixel front facing camera with two 13 megapixel sensors on the back. And they are real guys, this is not fake. Uh, next here, the LTE bands unfortunately are not supported here in the USA so you will not get LTE right now until they probably release their international model I guess that this is better for let's say South America Canada um, Russia uh, of course China um, except the USA so again very disappointed about this next we got here the 5.99 inch uh, full HD plus display with the 89 ratio and they call it the flexible infinity so it is almost edge to edge and it is amylade which is really cool we have a pretty decent 3550 milliamp battery with the android 8.0 so we get better uh, security features this time and then we had the usb type c supported on here and again guys the phone is simply amazing when it comes to the build quality so we're going to be seeing that here in just a second so opening the box we can see how well presented so far everything looks here we got the device okay and then here on the back side we can see right there uh, giving us here all the indications of what everything is on the top here we have the SD card slot we had the volume rockers up and down we got the IMEI information the power key and all that good stuff uh, setting this aside the next thing we're gonna find here is going to be a little divider that doesn't have a pull tab anywhere so it is a little bit challenging to getting off here let me see there we go it's coming right off now and then here we have some dividers so inside we will find something like the charger and here we have the usb cable first of all again usb type c so nothing dramatic here as you guys can appreciate there we can see it all right this is the usb type c wire and then we got here the fast charger it does support quick charge so this is great as well um, it has a pretty big battery, so having a fast charger definitely makes sense. So here we can see it right there. We can see the uh, specs, okay? And it doesn't have the USA connections on here, all right, unfortunately. So we have to use an adapter. Uh, next here, which is something really cool that I appreciate on any phone out there, is the fact that now it came with a screen protector and it has a silicon case as well. So we can protect it here from day one. Definitely appreciate it. And here we have the SIM ejector tool. We have a quick start guide in English. So that helps as well. Here we can see it's basically telling us how to install the SIM card, how to charge it. I mean, at this point, who doesn't know how to do that? And then on the back side here, we have a QR code so we can learn more about this company and whatnot. But this is all we're gonna find here inside of the box. So as always guys, let me set everything aside and that way we can power on this baby and see what it's all about. So now that we have set the black color version aside, let's go ahead and talk here about the blue color version, which is the one that I've been using for the past couple of days. So on the front side here, we have the 5.99 inch display. Like I said before, it has a 1080p resolution. We have the ear speaker, the 8 megapixel sensor camera. On the bottom here, we have nothing but a small chin. And here from the glare of the screen, we can tell that this is AMOLED because we had that blue tint uh, coming in the reflection right there. 
Um, on the left hand side here, we have absolutely nothing. The SIM tray will be located here on the top side. Again, it is a dual SIM, dual standby device. We can also upgrade it with a TF card, which is great considering that this phone already comes with 128 gigabytes of internal memory. On the right side of the phone, we got nothing but just the volume rockers up and down with the power key. And then towards the bottom, you have the USB type C port. And also we got the um, loudspeaker right here. And then towards the left hand side, we will find the um, microphone. Okay. And on the top, if I forgot to mention, we have a secondary microphone as well. And here on the back side of the phone, we find the dual cameras. Again, 13 megapixel sensors. They are true dual cameras. We have the fingerprint scanner, the LED uh, light, and you guys can see that this thing is definitely a fingerprint magnet. This is very common on glass. And towards the bottom there, we got the Elephone logo, and that's pretty much all we find here for the body of the Elephone U Pro. So getting this thing started, there we can see that I have already started it. So this is the lock screen. Uh, very cool. Now it gives you all the notifications directly here from the lock screen, something that I do appreciate. And I just like all the fonts that they have used on this particular theme. It looks very nice and it's very easy to view, I would say, in my opinion. So again, I appreciate the theme that they have installed on here. Of course, I already set up my fingerprint on the device, so it is not the fastest just to let you guys know right off the back, it takes about maybe half a second. I have seen quicker fingerprint scanners, especially like the ones that we saw on the Huawei uh, Mate 10 Pro. That thing was just blazing fast. And now coming here to the Elephone U Pro, you can definitely tell that this thing is a little bit slower, but it, it still, uh, it reads 100% of all my fingerprints so far from my testing. So here we have the um, theme, again, that comes installed on here. And underneath we have the Android 8.0. We can actually confirm that if you go here into settings and then we go all the way to the bottom here to where it says um, system. Then we go into about U Pro, and there we can see all these specs um, or at least the Android version with all the software information on here and it comes with wireless updates. So far I haven't seen any updates on this particular device and I checked it also on the brand new one and it says that well your device is currently up to date. So we don't have any updates as of right now and then here on the bottom side we can tell that they have changed the way the capacitor keys look okay which is really cool on the middle side here we have the home key we have the back key and the task killer key so everything works uh, very well now i haven't seen here on buttons uh, which i actually checked if i could change the orientation of them and we got this setting called navigation key um, so we can only change it to gestures, but it doesn't give me the option to actually switch them around. So maybe on a software update in the future, we can actually have that implementation on there. That would have been absolutely awesome. And then here we have this very cool storage manager that tells you where everything is being occupied. So right now it has been mainly the system. Okay. I guess it has to do with the Android 8.0 Oreo. And like I said, guys, the rest is just basic for Android. Nothing changes here dramatically, I will say. This phone does come with NFC, and this is something I don't understand. Um, you know, NFC is used, of course, worldwide, but we use it here a lot in the USA for Android Pay. And now, not including the LTE bands, I still don't understand why. But again, guys, this could be maybe that I don't have all the information about this product so far and maybe they will release an international version with the global LTE bands and I really wish that they do guys because this phone is really really impressive it's starting here from the display and all the qualities about this system I mean this thing scored over 100,000 here in the Intuito benchmark and this will definitely prove to you guys that this phone is not a joke that score is not a joke that score is a flagship score but again considering that the brand is Elephone and they're just starting to I guess move more into the flagship um, side. I think that the price they're asking right now, again, is a little bit too high, especially when they want to compete. So here on my device, we can actually see all the remaining of the information on here. So we have a true 1080p screen, and also it comes with amazing loudspeaker, at least for my ears. I think they sound quite decent. But now before we jump into the loudspeaker side. Let me go ahead and show you here the Geekbench score that I got for this device. And the best that I've seen was almost 7,000 and it was with the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. With this one, if you go here into history, we can see I got almost 6,000. 
So we can't deny the fact that this score is definitely impressive, okay? Especially, again, from a company that started at the very bottom with very cheap devices that had a lot of quality control issues, and now they have come, you know, all the way to where they're at right now. And let me tell you guys, like I said, and I'll keep repeating it throughout the entire video, this phone is no joke. This phone, just look at the curves, look at the quality of that display, okay? It is truly amazing. This is by far the best device that I've used from this company. I mean, last time I saw a device with these qualities came from a Samsung Galaxy S8. So again, that kind of tells you what kind of device I'm dealing with right here. So again, I'm really happy for this and excites me quite a bunch. And now let's go ahead and talk here about the loudspeaker as well as playing videos on YouTube. This is something very important because a lot of you guys like myself like to play videos on YouTube and we want to know if we can actually zoom it to fit the entire screen. And with this product you can. So again, that's very cool. Not every Chinese phone is able to do this. And trust me guys, I have tested a lot of phones that I actually refuse to complete videos for because they were absolutely crap and they had, you know, all these 89 uh, ratio features and, and all that good stuff, but now the system wasn't optimized great enough to work with things like YouTube and other apps. So for that reason, I decided to just refuse the review. So anyways, going here into my channel, then we're going to play here my latest video, which is about the Tesla Styro Radio. So that you guys can hear that again, the loudspeaker, it is not comparable to the iPhone 10 and it is not comparable so far to the Samsung Galaxy S8 or nor the Galaxy Note 8, which in my opinion are the um, most famous devices out there with the highest qualities. Again, that's just my opinion. And yes, it doesn't compare to that, but according to what it is and from the company that it came from, again, these uh, Chinese phones usually have a reputation of not having great quality speakers nor cameras. And this one has managed to actually improve that. So that's definitely great. And it serves an applause here from us um, for this company. So getting back here into the home screen, um, another thing about this phone that has improved from other elephone devices, and again, I'm only speaking for this brand, I'm not speaking for other devices out there, is that, well, the camera has improved and they have changed it a little bit, now has more features into it. Um, I would say has a better, I would say better colors, better saturation, better white balance. Um, it does quite okay, but you can still see that grainy effect or that noise on the uh, pictures or videos when you're shooting in low light today I went to uh, Best Buy and you guys can notice by just not being under the sunlight this thing gets affected and immediately you can start seeing noise on the quality of your recording or the pictures and this is something that maybe in the future that will improve or maybe with software who knows uh, but overall the camera will keep you happy it is not disappointing I mean, it has its little flaws, but it's not a thing that we really can't live with. So at least on the camera side, I got to give it a thumbs up, especially here for the front facing camera. It has great qualities. You guys can even tell that right here. Just look at the qualities of my camera. Just look at my fan back there. I mean, just just look at every single details and you guys can deny the fact that it has very decent um, camera quality, at least here on the front side. And it comes with uh, features like beauty face and all that great stuff that we like on smartphones. So again, they have done a very decent job here with the camera. I don't have any complaints. Also the battery that comes inside the 3,550. This device has been used now for the past uh, two days and a half. And I only had to charge it once, uh, which is the first charge actually. I haven't charged it ever since, but I won't lie to you guys. I haven't used it, um, you know, the way I use my other flagship devices like the iPhone 10 or my primary device as this has been used uh, just for testing, just to do little basic things. And I haven't um, charged it. Like I said, I only charged it once. So it has lasted so far about two days and a half. And it still has, I would say about maybe 20, 20 or 30 percent right there so i guess the battery is doing quite well um the only complaint that i have about this phone the only major complaint honestly guys is the fact that it doesn't have 4g lte otherwise if this phone was maybe 320 dollars or less and it had the 4g lte bands i would go for it 
uh, without even uh, hesitating or, or even thinking about it because of the fact that, well, it supplies a lot of nice qualities, especially here on the display side. This thing rocks quite great. So with this being said, guys, I think we have completed here the unboxing and the quick hands-on of the Elephone EU Pro. And if you guys have any questions, you know exactly what to do. Just leave your comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on my next one.